I hired AI experts of Fiverr, I guess that's a thing now, to generate images for me. But wait a minute! Isn't AI generation virtually free, at least when it comes to the first few images? And furthermore, it's very user-friendly. You can literally pick that skill up in a few minutes. So why would I need AI experts, is what I asked myself. And that's exactly why I had to create this video. We're gonna book three of them, ranging from the cheapest on the site to the most expensive Fiverr verified pro. Fiverr's choice. She's the most expensive one too, so let's look into that. And let's just see how good and useful they really are. So let's get started right away, but first we need a game plan. And look, I thought about this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give them exact guidance. Plus, I'm gonna give them a reference image that I generated myself. That should make it pretty straightforward for them to deliver something because they can simply upload my image and generate similar ones if they have any skills with my journey at all. I decided to pick this approach because art is something subjective and realizing my vision is something that is hard to judge. But if I provide them with exact guidance and they still mess up, well, you can only imagine what would happen with even less hand-holding. So with that being said, let's get my credit card ready and hop on Fiverr right away. So when we head on over to fiverr.com and look at their new AI services website, we're gonna find they offer various things. And the service I'm interested in today is their AI art generation experts, which they apparently have a bunch of. Now these so-called experts offer their expertise in various categories. So what we're gonna do here is pick two of them and give them the same assignment I will be shooting for with my own creation. So what my usual approach is because I got burnt on Fiverr so many times already is I go to seller details and I look for the top rated sellers. While I've still been greatly disappointed by some of these top rated sellers they're probably your best bet and from all of the top rated sellers there's one which is actually fiverr's choice she's the most expensive one too so let's look into that okay so right away i can tell you must contact her via inbox before placing an order all right that is good but basically she orders free packages first one being the simple images all right the second one is an image that she upscaled which honestly is not a task worth 30 euros to so just put it into a website and it's done in 10 seconds the last package here is actually quite interesting you don't just get the image and five revisions you also get the prompt she used and she uses Photoshop to enhance the image. And this is what I personally find really interesting about her offer here, because if you look at her profile, her main thing on Fiverr is actually delivering Photoshop services. And while Photoshop was the very first large software I ever learned 13 years ago, if she really knows her way around mid-journey, plus Photoshop, plus she's Fiverr's choice, right? This might just get interesting. So while 120 euros is a little pricey, I'll go for it for the sake of this video. I declare Bankruptcy! As of January 29th, this is the high-end package in terms of mid-journey art on all of Fiverr. If you appreciate me doing this, leave a like below. But now let's write a message to her that specializes what we need. And you know what? We are an AI channel that is requesting services from somebody using AI to deliver content for our AI education website. So might as well use AI to write the message. And this is roughly what I want. Write me a short message to a freelancer offering AI art generation services about my order. I'm looking for hero images for my website about AI education with the colors gray, beige, and green. The aesthetic should be very clean, futuristic, with natural elements in it. And this entire description is derived from my previous brainstorming session in my journey, where I came up with this image, which I consider to be the closest representation of what I imagine for the website. Love the organic elements, the color palette, and the overall look of it. And look, I always try to keep it straight with you here on the channel. And honestly, I almost never just copy paste stuff straight from ChatGPT. But in this case, I feel like it's a fantastic opportunity to get the conversation started here. We'll simply add that I have an image as inspiration for her too. Beautiful message sent. And while we wait for her reply, let's find another person that delivers a similar service, but at the opposite end of the spectrum, aka cheap. So let's go over here, mid journey artists. And now if I look for this, oh my God, look at that new sellers, 1447. I bet somebody created TikToks around the fact, oh, this is the newest grift to make money with AI. So how about we avoid those people and we go at least to level one here. All right. And these prices are a lot more reasonable for something that is essentially freely available. Okay. So these prices are a lot more realistic, considering that if you get a 10 euro subscription, you can do like a hundred of these gigs. And you know what? I'm looking for a picture that catches my attention. Okay, so here I can get the full package, including the prompt for 14 and a half euros, which is like $16. So this is quite perfect. And here we can just order right away. So shut up and take my money. And I'll just copy paste my previous message, attach the image, air conditioning service. Fiverr, come on, add AI to your site if you're offering the services. All right, start order. And you know what? I'm kind of feeling myself. So let's do one more of these newcomers and give them a chance here. Let's go to new sellers. <laughs> let's just go to newest arrivals. Heck, why not? And all I want is someone cheap here. So let's see. Anybody cheaper than 14 bucks? Oh boy, they all cost 14. So let's at least pick an image that is similar to what I'm looking for here. Let's just pick this one because he picked an amazing image that stands out to me. 
And this guy has probably the best description on all of Fiverr. I'm pro AI art generator. You simply just imagine and tell me how you want your artwork to look like. You then submit your work as soon as possible. Be it your music cover image, image for your website, gift to someone, etc. What is that, bro? <laughs> My dude Emmanuel could seriously use a light chat GPT rewrite. Either way, we'll just give him the job and provide him with the same instructions as before. Start order. Okay, so Valeria, our premium Fiverr's choice seller here, already got back to us. So let's see what she said. Hello, thank you for contacting me. Sure, I could try to help you with that. Please describe the image you would like to have and based on a description, I will generate the image. Okay, good. So she even gives an example. One image of a woman that looks like a robot in gray color with grass around her. She's a pro seller, so I want her help here. Let's test that a little bit. I'll give her this though. I'm imagining a clean but technological look like something a private university for hackers could use. Oh, and Emmanuel just entered the building. Hello, sir. Hello there, sir. I bet he was surprised when he got that phone notification considering none of his other jobs have a review yet. Also, just funny side note, he offers a wide variety of services, including writing CVs or editing images in Lightroom, which by the way, this is not how you spell Lightroom. With eight years of experience, you should be able to spell Lightroom, but you know what? Maybe it was just a typo, who knows? Oh wow, and will you look at that? Valeria says she can work with that. Only after showing me some options, she would charge $25 per photo. That's way better than the 120 that I was expecting here. All right, time to let them do some work and let's check back later. If you're enjoying this type of content, leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I have a whole lot more like this coming. But now let's move on. All three of them have delivered. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. So it's finally time for us to judge their deliveries. And the first two of these I haven't seen yet, I decided not to give them feedback as their brief was extremely precise and everything should be clear from that. All right, Carlos, what do you have right here? Let's see. Hello, I did some examples. Are we in the good direction? Okay, so let's see. And just remember, we're looking for hero images for my website, which focuses on AI education. And we want that clean, futuristic aesthetic. So let's see if we hit that. Okay, interesting. This one is futuristic, kind of hits the character, but honestly, it's more evil looking and not clean. Ooh, this is more like it. This is actually quite interesting. Okay, I like this direction more. This looks like something taken out of Destiny or another computer game, so no. Interesting, but again, no white and not really similar to what I posted. Yeah, this doesn't work at all. Okay, so outside of this patch, this one was the closest, right? But let's see, apparently he sent even more. Hello, more heroes with natural elements. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm glad he sent this many images. This one is too evil and just straight out ignores the color theme I sent him. Uh, what? Just no. Yeah, I didn't really request a computer game, did I? Wow, this is actually really cool, but exactly the opposite of what I'm looking for. I mean, educational website, clean, beige. Yeah, this is kind of interesting, I guess. This is a character. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is just not what I was looking for at all. And this one is kind of cool, but all of these just go in a different direction than what I had in mind. And here's one last patch. And wow, I gotta say, okay, this is exactly the direction that I was looking for here. So he kind of saved it here. Good Lord, this is the opposite. And that's another no, but honestly, this one is kind of fine. I mean, I guess I wish he had open eyes, but otherwise, yeah, he hit one of 30 pictures. If I told him I want more like this, he would have done that. So this is decent, not gonna lie. You know what? Out of all these images, actually just this one and this one kind of fit my brief. So you know what? Not bad overall. Not great, not terrible. Generating all this myself would maybe take me 10 minutes. And for the price I just paid him, I could have a two month subscription with hundreds of more images like this. So, but again, considering how many of these were completely in a different direction than what I imagined and what I communicated to him very clearly. I'll give Carlos here a five out of 10. And honestly, that's kind of friendly considering he sent me this when I asked for images from my educational website. All right, next up our main man, Emmanuel here. Now I'm really curious what this guy came up with. Hello, sir. Good to get in touch. Hello, sir. I'm doing final retouch on your images. How many do you want for the job, please? Why does he ask that? And what would he do if I told him like 50? All right, a few hours later. Hi, I gonna send you about four photos only. You can choose or use all. I made more options for you, all stunning. But with the price of $15, I'll get you four for now. Thanks. So he asked the question and answered himself. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. I can't wait. Okay, Emmanuel, you know what? This is interesting. I like what he did with the background. There's the leaves in there. And yeah, this humanoid character does look very authoritative and like the type of guy you would want to learn from, right? Okay, not bad, not bad. How about that? That's a completely different direction that I really enjoy, actually. I like that he has the city in the background here. Not bad, Emmanuel. I'm kind of surprised here. Okay, what about this? Interesting. So it's this little baby Groot-like creature and then a robot clearly helping it out. I really like the concept. This was not along the lines of my brief, but it goes in the same direction. And he kind of read what I asked for and actually gave me further ideas in that direction. Not bad. 
Oh wow, look at that, yet again, creatively completely different, but the same general direction. I don't think I would use this, but I love some ideas in here, like the background and the lake here. And then we have this one, not bad. So he really took different approaches to the problems that I gave him. I kind of like this, I'm not gonna lie. Like you could totally go in here, generate more images, and with a simple mask, you could replace all the content of the helmet here. That might just be a good idea. Plus he upscaled it too. But then what's up with the four images he promised? This is one, two, three, four, five. Ah, one extra. I just gotta check. Does this guy have an order? Oh yes, somebody else ordered the AI art from him. Emmy is great in communication and turnarounds are quick. But don't expect great results when you want to mix AI generated art with real images. Okay, that's not Emmy's fault though, exactly. <laughs> and he changed his whole profile to be a verified AI artist after getting one gig. Well, maybe two of mine. But I gotta say, this was actually worth the money, kind of. Because he took my briefing and took it in creative directions and actually maintained the color palette and all the ideas I gave him. You know what? With 17 euros, which is like $19 and zero replacements, Applies to his questions, right? He generated a solid result here. I'll give this an 8 out of 10 and save some of these images for future inspiration. With that being said, I don't think I'll be using any of them directly, but especially this one is fantastic inspiration. All right, and now our last seller, right? The top rated seller, Fiverr's Choice. Valeria right here costs a premium, but she has Photoshop skills to go along with her AI image generation skills. Let's see what she delivered. So if you remember correctly, I was ready to pay over $100 for her image generation, but in our communication, she said $25 per photo, which I was positively surprised by. After confirming, she came back with two images the next day. And here they are. And I gotta say, this is right on brief. Color palette, perfect. The character I sent her exactly matched with different variations. Here she has the human in it. Here it's more abstract, but I really like the elements and especially the background that she brought into it, right? And honestly, this is exactly what I was asking for when I gave her the brief. Alternative characters that uphold all the criteria. So I came back and said, I really love the first one. And here's the final result from Fiverr's most expensive AI expert. Ta-da! She photoshopped this thing into a hero image where you can simply remove the text. She even picked the appropriate font. And honestly, $25 for this is actually well worth the money. If I communicated with her even more and maybe paid for multiple images, this was actually a really solid service. She didn't just generate the image, but also gave me exactly the deliverable that I can almost directly upload to my website. I mean, I'm sure if I gave her the text, she would replace it and then I could use it in my website right away. Or, you know, replacing this in Photoshop would take about 20 seconds. But we have yet to answer the main question, and that is, are the images these AI experts generated better than what I came up with myself? With Carlos here, I would just straight up say no. This wouldn't even fit into the website. I guess the two good ones would fit in here, but honestly, I would prefer the character I sent to them every time. With Emmanuel, it's a different story because I wouldn't particularly use any of these images, but I really like the direction he took it into. Like I could totally see a grown-up robot nurturing a little tree there as a part of the website. That's a fantastic idea. But I don't think he fully did the job where I could take the image and be like, okay, we're using this as the hero image for our website. But with the final delivery, it's a different story. I could totally take this banner and build it into the website right away. And I would even say that the color palette and the fonts she picked are superior to the thing that I sent to her. If this or this character is better is purely subjective. But overall, I would say yes, she did complete her task and this third delivery was totally worth it. But hey, at the end of the day, this is art and you gotta judge yourself. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Which one of these was worth it? And do you want me to run more experiments like this? Meanwhile, you can check out this playlist of mine, which will turn you into an AI expert just like them in no time.